The Kenyan national government had been facing a major crisis in the Makueni County for years, the lack of clean and accessible water. The people of Makueni had been struggling to survive, with their only source of water being a small stream that was often contaminated and not enough to sustain the growing population. This crisis affected every aspect of their lives, from their health to their livelihoods. But things were about to change with the construction of the Thwaite Dam. The Thwaite Dam was a massive irrigation project that promised to bring clean and abundant water to the people of Makueni. It was a mega project, funded by the government and supported by various international organizations. The expectations were high, and the people of Makueni were hopeful that their lives would change for the better. The construction of the Thwaite Dam had been in progress for the past two years, and it was almost complete. The atmosphere in the county was one of excitement and anticipation. The people couldn't wait for the dam to be fully functional, and the government had promised to create job opportunities for the youths and women in the community. One of the youths eagerly waiting for the completion of the dam was 24-year-old Mumo. He had been struggling to find a job to support his family, and the water crisis had only made things worse. But with the promise of job opportunities at the dam, Mumo was hopeful that things would change for him. He had always dreamed of working on a project that would bring positive change to his community. Meanwhile, in the neighboring village, 10-year-old Nuru was excited to start attending school. She had never been to school before, as her family could not afford the fees, and she had to help her mother with household chores. But with the completion of the dam, the government had promised to provide free education for all the children in the area. Nuru couldn't wait to learn and make something of herself. As the final touches were being made to the Thwaka Dam, the government officials were inspecting the site. Among them was Jane a young and ambitious engineer who had been working tirelessly on the project. She had faced many challenges and setbacks, but her determination and hard work had paid off. She was proud to be a part of a project that would bring lasting change to the community. But not everyone was happy with the progress of the Thwaite Dam. A group of men, led by a local politician, were against the project. They claimed that the dam would destroy the natural habitat and disrupt the lives of the people living nearby. They had been causing trouble and trying to sabotage the construction, but the government had taken strict measures to ensure the safety of the project. On the day of the inauguration of the Thwaite Dam, the atmosphere was electric. The people of Makueni had gathered to witness the historic event, and there was a sense of pride and hope in the air. The government officials, including the president, had arrived to officially open the dam. Speeches were made, and the people were assured that the dam would bring prosperity and development to their county. As the gates of the dam were open-ed and the water started flowing, the people cheered and clapped. Nuru's ease lit up with excitement as she saw the water gushing out, and she knew that her dream of going to school would finally come true. Mumo couldn't believe that he was now a part of a project that would benefit his community. Jane felt a sense of fulfillment as she watched the dam come to life, and she knew that her hard work had paid off. Months went by, and the Thwaite Dam proved to be a success. The people of Makueni now had access to clean and abundant water, and their lives had changed drastically. Nuru was now a regular at school, and she was excelling in her studies. Mumo had a stable job at the dam, and he was able to provide for his family. The women in the community had also benefited from the dam, as they were now able to start small businesses and support their families. The happy ending was not just for the people of Makueni, but for the entire country. The Thwaite Dam had not only solved the water crisis, but had also created job opportunities and improved the overall standard of living. It had become a symbol of progress and development, and the Kenyan national government was praised for its efforts in making it a reality. The Thwaite Dam project had taught everyone involved a valuable lesson that with determination, hard work, and cooperation, even the most challenging of problems can be solved.
It was a shining example of what can be achieved when people come together for a common goal, and it would be remembered for generations to come. The Thwaite Dam was a mega project that had been in the works for years, and it was finally nearing completion. They claimed that the dam would destroy the natural habitat and disrupt the lives of the people living nearby. They had been causing trouble and trying to sabotage the construction, but the government had taken strict measures to ensure the safety of the project. On the day of the inauguration of the Thwaite Dam, the atmosphere was electric. The people of Makueni had gathered to witness the historic event, and there was a sense of pride and hope in the air. The government officials, including the president, had arrived to officially open the dam. Speeches were made, and the people were assured that the dam would bring prosperity and development to their county. As the gates of the dam were opened and the water started flowing, the people cheered and clapped. Nuru's eyes lit up with excitement as she saw the water gushing out, and she knew that her dream of going to school would finally come true. Mumo couldn't believe that he was now a part of a project that would benefit his community. Jane felt a sense of fulfillment as she watched the dam come to life, and she knew that her hard work had paid off. Months went by, and the Thwaite Dam proved to be a success. The people of Makueni now had access to clean and abundant water, and their lives had changed drastically. Nuru was now a regular at school, and she was excelling in her studies. Mumo had a stable job at the dam, and he was able to provide for his family. The women in the community had also benefited from the dam, as they were now able to start small businesses and support their families. The happy ending was not just for the people of Makweni, but for the entire country. The Thwaite Dam had not only solved the water crisis, but had also created job opportunities and improved the overall standard of living. It had become a symbol of progress and development, and the Kenyan national government was praised for its efforts in making it a reality. The Thwaite Dam project had taught everyone involved a valuable lesson that with determination, hard work, and cooperation, even the most challenging of problems can be solved. It was a shining example of what can be achieved when people come together for a common goal and it would be remembered for generations to come. The Thwaite Dam was a mega project that had been in the works for years and it was finally nearing completion. The dam, which would provide water and electricity to millions of people, was a source of great pride for the country. As the construction workers put the finishing touches on the massive structure, the atmosphere was filled with excitement and anticipation. One of the workers, John, had been on the project since the beginning. He had seen the dam go from a mere idea to a towering structure that was almost ready to be put into use. John had always dreamed of being a part of something that would have a lasting impact, and the Thwaikadam was exactly that. He couldn't wait for the day when the dam would be fully operational, and he could see the positive impact it would have on the surrounding communities. As John continued his work, he couldn't help but think about the countless hours and hard work that had gone into the project. The dam had faced many challenges along the way, from funding issues to environmental concerns. But John and his team had persevered, and now they were just days away from the grand opening ceremony. Meanwhile, in a nearby village, a young girl named Fatima was eagerly waiting for the completion of the Thwaite Dam. Her village had been suffering from water scarcity, and the dam would provide much needed relief. Fatima's family, like many others in the village, had to walk long distances to fetch water from a nearby river. But with the dam's completion, they would have access to clean water right in their own village. Fatima's father, who was a farmer, was also looking forward to the dam's completion. The dam would provide irrigation for their crops, allowing them to grow more and earn a better living. As the days passed, Fatima and her family could already feel the positive impact the dam would have on their lives. On the day of the grand opening ceremony, the atmosphere was electric. People from all over the country had gathered to witness the historic event. 
The president of the country was also present, and he gave a speech praising the hard work and dedication of the workers who had made the Thwaite Dam a reality. As the ribbon was cut and water began to flow through the dam, the entire crowd erupted in cheers and applause. It was a moment of great pride and joy for everyone involved in the project. For John, who had been a part of the project from the beginning, it was a dream come true. But amidst all the celebration, there was one person who couldn't help but feel a sense of guilt and regret. This person was P, the former project manager of the Thwaite Dam. Peter had been fired from his position for embezzling funds from the project. He had been the one responsible for the delays and setbacks that the dam had faced. As Peter watched the celebrations, he couldn't help but think about the missed opportunities and the impact his actions had on the project. He had let down his colleagues, the workers, and the people who would benefit from the dam. Peter realized that he had made a grave mistake and that he would have to live with the consequences for the rest of his life. The Thwaite Dam was not just a structure, but a symbol of hope and progress for the country. It was a testament to the power of hard work and determination. And as the water continued to flow through the dam, it brought with it a new era of prosperity for the people who had been waiting for it for so long.